Hey everyone, and welcome to Hollow Week! Every day this week, Monday through Friday, I will be posting a Halloween themed video. And this year I'm also posting my Inktober videos, and I was doing it just every Tuesday, but I want to put all of them out since I am filming all of them. So I started doing those every weekday as well, minus Thursday, because I do my DIY videos then. So you guys are going to be getting a lot of videos from me this week. Pretty much two videos every day except for Thursday. There isn't really a theme to this year's Hollow Week. Um, I don't think I did a theme last year either, but I think that I'm going to try to next year. Actually, would you guys even like that? Or do you guys like the random Halloween videos? If you guys are interested in me actually like doing a theme, then let me know and I will try to make that happen next year. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some shrunken heads out of apples. Let's get started. You'll need one cup of lemon juice, one tablespoon of salt, apples with stems. I've heard that Granny Smith apples work the best, but I used Granny Smith and Honeycrisp apples in this tutorial and I didn't really see a difference. A peeler, a knife, a toothpick, wire, and for additional details, you can use things like grains of rice, peppercorns, almond slivers, etc. Peel the apple. Around the stem, I left a little extra skin, and then I went through and used a knife to make some jagged cuts to make the impression of hair, and then I peeled away the extra chunks, like so. Use a toothpick to sort of sketch an ear shape on one side, and then on the opposite side, make another ear, and then use your knife to carve around the back to make the ear stand out a little bit, like so. You can also shape the back of the head and give it a jawline and stuff like that right now. On the face, use the toothpick again to draw a straight line about one third of the way down to make the brow bone, then draw a nose and the eyes and the mouth with the toothpick, and then you can use your knife to start carving the details. I suggest shaving down the apple around where the eye sockets are and where the cheeks are and of course giving the mouth more definition and also actually give it eyeball holes. You can add as much detail as you want really and I kind of went a little overboard but I think that it makes the shrunken head look more interesting once it's shriveled up. Once you're done sculpting the face, Mix up some lemon juice with the salt, and let the apple sit in that mixture for about 30 seconds. This will help prevent mold growth. Use a towel to remove as much moisture as you can, and then, if you want, add more details. For this guy, I added some grains of rice in the mouth to mimic teeth. I stuck the rice in all the way until I couldn't see them anymore, because in the drying process, the apple will shrink back and it'll expose the teeth. Take some thin wire, wrap it around the stem, and then create a hook. Now you can either hang it up out of the way and let it air dry for about a week, or you can speed up the process by hanging them on the racks in your oven and then setting it to the lowest setting, which ideally would be about 175 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you are like me and you have an oven that only goes to 200 or warm, then you can set it there and then leave the door propped open with a wooden spoon. Either way, it'll have to sit in here for a few hours to help with the dehydration process. If you have a dehydrator, you could totally use that instead. Here's what my two guys looked like after about six hours in the oven. They're not quite done shrinking down, but, well, I ran out of time for this video. I did make a shrunken head a few weeks ago though, and here's how it turned out. So you can see just how small they get. I used a green apple that was about the same size as the one that I carved in this video, and I let it air dry for about a week. The eyes look a bit weird because I poked perfectly circular holes. And so I was anticipating that it would change shape and whatnot as it shrunk, but they stayed like perfectly circle holes. I don't really like how they look. I prefer the more realistic eye shapes like these guys. But anyway, 
You can throw these in jars or tie them up to hang or just place them alongside your other decor like I did here. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. This whole week, I'm going to be posting Halloween themed videos, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thank you to my patrons who helped Halloween happen this year. You guys are awesome. If you are interested in becoming a patron or you just want to learn what Patreon is or learn what it means to become one of my patrons, then I'll leave a link to mine right here. You can go check it out. I post vlogs there um, where I kind of do behind the scenes. I show my ongoing projects and whatnot. So yeah, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, or Snapchat, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos or next year's Halloween, then leave a comment down below. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow!